everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's foundation for Foundation Friday is a request that I had from Ursula. So hi Ursula and thank you very much. Keep the request coming in. I've got loads of foundations to get through. Um, but if there's a particular one, just let me know. If I have it, I will... I will do it. I'm not going to buy any more at the moment because I've got plenty to be going on with. But if I have it, I will definitely review it next. So do do that request. Also, don't forget to vote for which look you want for my Get Ready With Me um, tomorrow on um, Instagram. Okay? Now, I'm, I don't have an awful lot of time today, so this is going to be a lot shorter. I'm sure you'll all breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> I'd be a bit more succinct. Okay, so um, today we're doing the Huda Faux Filter Foundation and I have got the primer which I do intend to use with it because again, it works really well. And I thought what I would do is set it with the Huda powder because we've been looking at the magic one recently and so you can see the difference because they both came out at the same sort of time. So let me read you a little bit it's about this giant. foundation. Um, so it says, Huda Beauty has unveiled okay, the secret I'm, to perfect skin to faux girls. filter foundation. Offering a seamless, full coverage matte finish that outlasts any others we've tried. This frankly fabulous formula will last through even the wildest of weather, workouts or emotional outbursts, though we hope it won't have to. Water resistant so and practically budge proof, this opaque base is blessed with a beautiful petal perfume white? and rich in skin nourishing argan oil to respect your complexion as it no, instantly man, perfects. Okay, now this is a very, very high coverage concealer, a uh, foundation even. I got that information from Cult Beauty, by the way. Um, this is very high coverage foundation. Um, and what is so good about the primer is it's very sticky, which may put you off it, but actually what it does is it helps the foundation to stay in place. Now, if you don't like fragrance in your foundation or your primer, do not go for this primer or foundation because it is very heavily scented, okay? Um, if any of you have ever, I've said this before, but if any of you have ever smelt the perfume Amarige by Givenchy, it smells exactly like that. Okay, um, I don't know who's texting me frantically, but never mind, we'll keep going. Um, so I'm going to put this all over my skin. It's lovely and moisturising. I actually like the smell. And yeah, I don't mind nice smells nice as long as it doesn't make nice me idea. allergic. I know why that my, it's my iPad that I'm using that suddenly got giving me loads of notifications. So, can, so I'm just going to switch yes, that off. Yes, there we go. Anything with the name All right. With only the name notifications that I've read right. a long time ago, <laughs> but are now catching up on my iPad. Yeah. Right. It has to say AR. Now I got the brush. Anything as well to go with this AOL. i do love this it is very you nice it if, it's it very good at blending AOL. high coverage AOL. foundations it's very like my tart one so when that one's being cleaned i tend to use this one for high coverage foundations so let's go in now um the foundation comes in 30 AOL. shades um and they're grouped into one, yes, two, three, and four, and then you will have numbers within that. Wait, so it is a numbered system, and there is a mixture of neutral, gold, and cool undertones. No, I'm looking I'm unsure because I'm not sure whether or not she oh, calls it cool. She I doesn't call warm warm she calls it gold so i'm just checking what she calls cool so let me just check this um b hmm. okay so she's calling some of them b i'm not sure what b stands for but i'll update you later on now when i come back i am going to do a wear test but 
I have got people over later on. So I'm going to do some photos and some voiceover. It won't be a video, okay? Um, but I will do a wear test. So this is the foundation. It's very, very thick. And it applies very well. Now, if I just show you, let me just zoom in on my hyperpigmentation here and then start blending this in and you will see how good the coverage is. Again, I've probably said this, but just repeating, the, the smell is very powerful, but it does die down once it, it sets. Um, and I like it, it's very floral and okay, the... makes me feel quite pampered. Um, the I like fragrance in my skincare as well, as long as it's oh, wait, obviously not I irritating. And sometimes, you know, sometimes some of the chemicals they use to mask smells can be just as irritating. I um, have long range, bruh. It just doesn't make me irritated, but I would definitely, uh, hey, if you can get a sample of this, it. then if you get, if you've got sensitivity, you might want to do this. Now or, this shade is a little or, bit too I light for me. Um, I really couldn't decide between neutral or golden and I probably should have gone for a golden and I should have gone oh, for slightly darker. Indeed. So this shade is Butter Pecan um, and I think I probably should have gone for Dolce de Leche. This is, so this is 330 neutral and I think I should probably have either gone for 350 gold which is Dolce de Leche or 400 gold which forgotten the name of it but 400 gold something beginning with b it's not baklava i can't remember I what it was but 400 g have, so they've got names they've all the got names um and they've all got numbers Ooh. as well uh, and can, if you go and look on the chart let's see it. Let's see if the she does actually give equivalents down. to certain to other popular foundations and not like just MAC. Let's see if it's, um, sometimes gold, sometimes so Estee Lauder, Kat Von D, uh, Marc Jacobs. She gives no, comparisons to those different ones. Okay? So as you can see, very good coverage. Now, if I probably don't need to do this, but just to show you how it layers, I'll just take a tiny bit more. And with the brush do my little dabbing trick and as you can see well, you that will completely right cover everything i think this is very good again yeah, if you're going to a I've wedding and you know that you're not going to be able to touch up your makeup all day or anything like that i think or you're on stage I would definitely have used this when I was on stage, when I was younger, if it had been available. Um, and the other thing is that I've tried this before under um, flawless filter, over flawless filter, and that makes it look a little bit more glowy. I think it still looks a little bit glowy, but in case you don't like it to be too flat, um, it Wait, looks you know absolutely is? stunning with faux filter underneath it. But I thought I'll just stick to her primer for today. Okay, oh, so I'm now going to put some concealer on. I'm going to use Magic Away. And then I'm going to set it with the Huda setting powder. Baking powder, but I'm not going to bake. One second. Now, if you don't want to go for the Huda brush... Because it is quite expensive, it is very good, but if you don't want to do that, any very densely packed brush will do, or a damp beauty blender um, is also good. But you do need to get a densely, if you're going for a brush, get a densely packed brush because you really do need to blend this. It's quite thick and it's quite high coverage. You also need to make sure that you get a good match 
I mean, this is a bit too light. If anything, go a bit too light because then you can bronze up. But the higher oh, coverage you go, the more damage. important it is to get a good match. When, you, like when you're like using stuff like um, the Light Wonder thing. Foundation, which is quite um, sort of low to medium okay. coverage, the, the you can get away easy, with like it being slightly out because it's not as good coverage. Um, okay. But Let's you definitely you do Let's need to get a reasonably now, good coverage. The final challenge. What's in that loop drop? Now the other thing to say about this foundation no. is that when it arrived, it's a gold, it's a gold name. I, I keep all my products in boxes because I think they last longer and they don't get exposed to light. But if you're not somebody that does that, Please examine the box. I'm not sure if this is the case much a pro with that for getting it from everywhere, but I had a little sample sitting inside the box, but it was tucked away and very difficult to see. Um, and it would be very and easily easy to miss like it. Um, the other person that does that is um, Mark Jacobs. I on his eye palettes he right puts now. primer really a little sample of his eye primer in and again it gets tucked away in the box very very easy I'm to miss so if you're somebody that chucks boxes out another, just another, make another sure that you box. examine the contents sometimes it's slid the down in between the box and the side of the box if you know what I mean so just make sure you check before you throw it out because there was definitely a sample in the box when I got this of the primer. And the primer is the complexion perfection. I did notice this morning, I'm going to put a bit of this on my eyes. I did notice this morning that she's got another primer, a mattifying one for people with very oily skin. Um, I don't know when that came out. Um, I, but I, I only I just noticed that this morning. The reason I was very excited to try this is and because obviously Huda has so, got sort of similar that, that, kind of Mediterranean olive, Asian, that kind of skin tone. Yeah. And I knew that she, she'd what said that she was going to cater for, um, people What's with um, kind of more yellow undertones because people it with olive skin tones often find that things action. either look orange or a little bit pink okay why I'm just going to get my setting brush okay with this powder I saw Huda demonstrating it she says to take the lid off put the top lid back on oh, and yeah, to go yeah. like uh, that and hopefully and not too much has come out. out. I mean, yeah. Because you, you know before I was struggling to get enough out. Now I am going to put this under my eyes, but I'm going to go very gently. I would not bake the, with the it. No um, but as it's got a bit of a yellow undertone, yellow kind of brightens your eyes. A I'm going to give it a go. A as you know, I'm normally a Becca under eye or elf under eye setting powder person but i'm going to give this a go and i'm just going to dab very lightly across that area and i'm going to move the brush inward rather than outward which is a little tip i gave you the other day from sari rihanna who has a, a youtube channel so go check her out definitely you, check out her foundation you. reviews she hasn't done a lot of foundation reviews recently um, she used to do them a lot it's it. it's um, in, uh, but they're still the there and she's covered a lot of foundations I'm just going to sweep some of that with the setting brush this is a real technique setting brush I'll help you. I'm going to sweep some of that over my lid um, just to stop the foundation that I put on it from creasing I don't really need to put, um, I did, oh actually I put magic away on didn't I? I was going to say I don't need to put concealer on but I did. <laughs> uh, it's 
Not on the floor. Right, and then I'm going to take this brush, which is a Real Techniques blush brush, which I love. It's really good for putting face powder, loose face for powder on. Where is it? Because it just oh, doesn't it must be in Trump Tower. overdo it. It applies it in quite know. a fine layer. Whereas some of the other ones, I think, tend to kind of apply a big splodge and then it's not really very evenly applied. Is it? And I just, it's so soft, this brush. It's really lovely. Okay, um, I'm pretty Apparently, they've got a set that's come out now that have got all my favourites in it. Not that I need any more, right but here. if you're interested, so it's got the setting brush, it's got uh, the blush the tower, brush, the it's got the, the um, complexion brush. No, not the complexion brush. It's, what's it called? It's a foundation uh, brush. Um, I'll put the details yeah. below. Um, the really good I'm one for buffing sure. in foundation. Uh, the it, expert concealer brush and the eyeshadow buffing yeah, brush. And they're all brilliant. Um, and no. they had a lot of requests to pr bring down. those out as a set. And they've bought them out. Because I was watching, I was watching Sam the other day doing a live. And she talked about it. So there you have it. There is the foundation. And I am going to just replace this pot. And I'll be right back and I'll do a, a oh, very here, quick um, close-up of the foundation. So that you can see what it looks like. Okay, here we go with the close-up. Oh, there it is. Now, can you see where I have that hyperpigmentation? It really covers it well. And that was one, apart from, I did do a second layer over the cheek area, but the rest of my face, my forehead, my chin and my nose, I only did one layer. So can we all fight at paradise? Okay. Well, I think this foundation as well would be oh, very good if you're somebody that works nights. Um, and I've had a couple of questions from people at work nights that have said, how can I... Um, my mum used to work nights. How can I um, get a foundation that's going to last? Um, Couple of, it was a nurse actually that asked me and my mum was a nurse and I know that it, it, for some reason it really at night I think yeah. takes its toll now if you don't like too much of the powdery effect of the easy bake loose powder no don't worry because then what you can do is take your MAC Fix Plus or any spray really the idea is to take that powdery look off and just Give your face a spray. But the thing to remember is that once you've done that, oh, you that is to give it a chance to to dry. Because if you don't, you start going in with the rest of your makeup, then it will move everything around, okay? <laughs> but what that will do is it will sink in it, just take that powdery look off your powder um, and kind of restore it to a more natural looking skin. Um, and I really want to itch my nose, but if I do that, I'm going to rub it off. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on, and I'll be right back, hopefully very quickly, and then I will check in with you later okay. on and okay, show you by pictures so and voiceover how it's wearing, okay? Okay, that's me done. All the makeup is on, and I start with the Huda theme today, and I've forgotten how well makeup goes over this foundation. Um... I just forget these things. Um, anyway, I hope you like the look. I'll put all the details of what I'm wearing underneath. Yeah. And I will catch up with you a little bit later. Um, and don't forget, um, you can vote for the Golden Goddess or the Bombshell on Instagram or you can leave a comment okay. below. Okay, see you later. Bye. Hi, everyone. This has been on for an hour and I have been able to do you a quick update. So it doesn't look any different really. Um, but I also wanted to update you on what B means. So B is actually beige undertones. So she doesn't have anything that is called cool. So basically it's ba B is for beige, G is for golden, but there's a but. 
I'm going to tell you in a minute. An R is for red undertones. Okay, but what I would suggest is if you're looking for shades, to also go onto Huda Beauty's website and look at the descriptions. Because when you do, some of the foundations that say that they're a gold undertone actually say gold and neutral um, or um, beige and neutral or whatever. So it's not just, it doesn't say BN or GN, it just says G. But then when you look at the description, it says gold neutral. So have a look at the descriptions on Huda Beauty's website. If you're in the UK, you probably don't want to order from her because it's international shipping um, and you might want to order from Cult Beauty. But definitely look at the description um, on the Huda Beauty website. So that, just to recap, is beige, which I think is what most people would call cool from the look of the foundations that she's describing as beige. So beige, golden or red. But some of them are combinations of gold and neutral. And you can only find that on Huda's website. Okay, I will check in with you later. See you soon. Bye bye. Hi guys, I've got a quick chance to do a very, very short video to give you an update. It is now four and a half, five hours actually, since I put this on. So this is what it's looking like. I'm sorry about the light, really bad light. But it hasn't budged, it's not budged at all. Um, and I have been cooking over a hot stove with steam. Um, it just doesn't budge, it's great. My lipstick's budged. Um, Perhaps a little bit around my nose, but I have been rubbing my nose, so I wouldn't really take that very seriously because I've been, you see me do it on my video. Anyway, I'll do a quick photograph in about an hour's time and then I want to get this uploaded because it's taking forever to upload videos these days. I don't know why. Okay, um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this and. I'll see you in about an hour on Photograph. All right, take care. Okay, my summary of this is it's a really good foundation. Obviously, I, ha I own it, so I'd say that. I think you need to use it with the primer. The primer is really, really great. And I think of all the foundations, it actually hides my hyperpigmentation um, really, really well. Probably only Estee Lauder beats it. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a really good one. It's very high coverage, but it doesn't feel it. Um, and makeup applies really, really well over the top um, and stays put. So um, if you have any questions, please put them below and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. But do make sure that if you're getting this foundation that you use a very dense brush or a beauty blender. Um, if possible, get the primer as well um, because it works so well. Um, and make sure that you get a good color match um, by looking at swatches and going on Temptalia. Um, I will put the link to Temptalia Matrix Foundation um, uh, Foundation Finder in the comment section. All right then, thanks and I'll see you all tomorrow. Can't wait to see what the final outcome is in terms of Golden Goddess or the Bombshell. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so don't forget to join me tomorrow when I will be doing a Get Ready With Me and you can vote on what you're going to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> He's lovely. He's always distracting me. Right, you're going to say goodbye? Bye-bye.